Hi, my name is Winnie. I'm in MD 2023, and today I'll be reading three monologues for you. The first one is from Shakespeare's Henry IV, the second one is a standalone monologue, and the last one is from a movie called Francis Ha. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching me transform into three different people. What? Was it you that would be England's king? Was it you that reveled in our parliaments and made a preachment of your high descent? Where are your mess of sons to back you now? The Wendt and Edward and the Lester George and where's that valiant crookback prodigy? Dicky, your boy? that with his grumbling voice was wont to cheer his dad in mutinies. And with the rest, was your darling Rutland. Alas, poor York, I should lament thy miserable state. I prithee grieve to make me marry York. York cannot speak. Unless you wear a crown, a crown for York, and lords bow low to him. Hold you his head whilst I put it on. Ay, marry, sir, now he looks like a king. Off with the crown. And with the crown, his head, and whilst we speak, take time to do him dead. Crazy? Define crazy. Am I crazy? Do I look crazy to you? Do you know what crazy is? Have you ever been crazy? I've never been crazy. I don't know what crazy is. Am I crazy? Why do you think I'm crazy? Just because of what happened to me? Do you even know what happened to me, doctor? Or do you just know what it says on that paper? Lost two children in the fire. I know what it says. I know what it means. Do you know what it means? How could you? Were you there that day? Did you see my life go to hell in a matter of seconds? Did you ever see my girls? Ever? you know what happened to me? Has it ever happened to you? I don't think so. Now let me help you understand that little piece of paper a bit better. I had everything anyone could ever want. A loving husband, beautiful house and two beautiful children Maggie and Betty they can brighten up the worst days I 
and came the fire. It all happened so fast. It seems like a dream. I wish it were a dream that I wouldn't have to deal with this pain of realizing that they're gone forever. I want this one moment. It's what I want in a relationship, <laughs> which might explain why I'm single. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's kind of hard to, it's that thing when you're with someone and you love them and they know it and they love you and you know it, but it's a party. And you're both talking to other people and you're laughing and shining. And you look across the room and catch each other's eyes. But not because it's possessive or it's precisely sexual, but because that's your person in this life. And it's funny and sad, but only because this life will end and it's this secret world that exists right there in public, unnoticed, that no one else knows about. It's sort of like how they say that other dimensions exist all around us, but we don't have the ability to perceive them. That's what I want out of a relationship. Or just life, I guess. Love. Thank you.